Hey, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. Game time. Something really cool happened last night, you guys. In sports. What? The all-time NCAA collegiate scoring record was shattered in a Division III basketball game that featured Real Nell College and Faith Baptist Bible. The shatterer was Grinnell College's Jack Taylor, who scored 138 points. The previous record was 113. Jack Taylor scored 138. That's like 100 points. 38 more. By the end of the night, Taylor threw up 108 shots and made 52 of them, and he was 27 for 71 from the three points. Those are great percentages. He shot the ball every 20 seconds. The rest of his stat sheet is hilarious. Three rebounds, three steals. Hustle stats. Zero assists. Totally expected in this situation. And six turnovers. Those are forgivable, but let's not make it a trend, okay, Jack? He also only played 36 minutes. If he would have played the other four minutes, he would have ended up with, like, let's see, uh, one shot every 20 seconds, shooting at about a 50% rate of success. Factor in the three point percentage. He would have ended up with 2,000. 743 points. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of points. It's a bunch of ball and hoop points. Now let's compare Taylor's numbers to some of the greatest performances in basketball history. Shall we? Well, still, Chamberlain scored 100 points in an NBA game while playing for the Warriors, and Kobe Bryant dropped 81 in a Lakers uniform. Drop a little more perspective, Joe. Okay, Ellie, I will. Michael Jordan's two highest scoring games were 69 and 64 points, respectively. Mash those two performances together, add up the numbers, and you got 133 points. Five points less than Jack Taylor's performance. Face Jam 2. Sign him up. That should never happen. At halftime, Taylor walked into the locker room with his teammates with the assumption that he poured in about ah, 30 points. And his coach swiftly corrected him and informed him that he actually scored 58 ball and hoop points. And this is where you learn that a seemingly selfish affair is actually one built on the foundation of teamwork. Going into the game, the team wanted to focus on Taylor getting a shot back after a poor performance in the previous game. Upon hearing the stats at the half, the team got jacked and got behind getting Jack Taylor the ball. It was a team effort. And also, this kind of thing doesn't happen unless you're running a very specific game plan. And for the Fox Squirrels, yes, they're called the Fox Squirrels, they implement the system. It's a run and gun non-stop game plan where you constantly Constantly full court press the opposing team and you throw up at least 94 shots a game on average and you continuously rotate your players so to hopefully tire out the other team and run them into the ground. So LMU used to run back in the day with Hank Gathers if you follow basketball at all, I, which I don't know. I remember. Anyways, these are some of the best games to watch. They're crazy hectic, they're always high scoring. I mean, the final score of this game was 179 to 104 and one dude on the other team dropped 70 points on 34 or 44 shooting, which is newsworthy in and of itself. Oh crap, Joe. What? Too much sports, man. You talk too much sports, they're all gone. Nobody's watching anymore. But anymore. this is interesting. Are you guys Hello? Where? Come back. No, we're, we're gonna be good. funny. We're gonna do space. Sexy white. girls. He I'm was 5'10 and white. They didn't somehow. even get to hear that part. Uh, dang it. I mean, the white part shouldn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's one. We got one. Uh, hey. Thank hey. you hey. so much. Good you. to see you. Guy, uh, oh. Timothy, what is the craziest sports story you've ever heard? Let us know in the comment section down below. We are looking forward to hearing from you, Timothy. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click this annotation for our five daily stories, and you can go to sourcefed.com specifically for this article and more crazy basketball and other sports facts. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. See you in just a bit. You look really good today. You do. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks, Tim.